guys welcome to my youtube channel remember i told you that we'll be having bar soap series so i wasn't joking about that even though our bar soap series was supposed to end february which was last month i really did not upload some videos that i've made already and to go and start searching for them is like another big work to do this particular bar soap we'll be talking about today i'm sure you've seen it on the thumbnail already and a subscriber dropped it at the comment section that we should make a review on silk castle so i'm just here hoping that that particular subscriber that dropped that at the comment section will be here to see this video today and please if you are that subscriber that's um i think it's madam omudupe if you are that subscriber please drop at the comment section that you've seen the video and if you have anything you would like to say about this bar soap you can do well to drop it at the comment section so people usually go to the comment section to learn one or two which is very important okay don't forget to like this video and also share if necessary and if you're a newbie here please click on that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and join this community because we are doing much much here on health wellness and beauty thank you very much if you've just done that so diving into the silk soap for my findings i've got just these two blends of silk soap though silk has lotion they have a wide range of products but since today we are talking about the soap we're going to focus on these two flavors and the amazing thing is the two flavors are actually papaya but one is the green papaya and the other one is the papaya now the normal papaya you know the normal papaya we used to eat Firstly, I'll be talking about the impact of papaya on skin. If you're someone who watched my video, you would know that here, what we do is caramel skin people like us, we fall onto carrots and then light skin people, people who are naturally light, not people that are aiming to get light. People that are naturally light, papaya does magic on their skin. I'm not saying those people who are caramel skin cannot use the papaya products. I'm just letting you guys know which fruit is suitable for which skin color. Which I always emphasize on that anytime I'm actually making a video or a review on a particular product. Even if it's not soap, maybe it's lotion, cleanser and what have you. So now let's just check the benefits of each fruit. That's the green papaya and the ripe papaya. So the green papaya reduces signs of skin aging. The antioxidants in green papaya is also known to help in firming the skin and reducing wrinkles. In addition, unripe green papaya is a rich source of um, vitamin C, vitamin A and vitamin E. All of which are powerful antioxidants that play an important role when it comes to skincare. While the ripe papaya fruit is rich in a certain type of enzyme called papain, yes, if I pronounced it well, which increases collagen production. And remember, collagen in its stones is responsible for skin elasticity and health. So it's a very important role. Then um, the papaya contains vitamin A, C, E, and it's an antioxidant that helps to moisturize and nourish your skin. It can also slow down the aging process. So now what you want to do is compare what I've said about the green papaya with the ripe papaya, okay? If you compare the both of them, they are kind of similar. Though they have slight difference, yes, because the green papaya, that's the unripe one, does not have so much collagen or cannot produce so much collagen as the ripe papaya when it comes to incorporating it into skincare products. So before you make a choice of what silk blend you want to choose, you should assess why you want to get the soap. Do I want to get the soap because I want it to clear wrinkles? Do I want to get it because of its anti-aging property? Do I want to get it because I want uh, massive collagen production on my skin? You know, when you consider all of this, then you can now know if you'll be getting the green or the ripe papaya. I'm going to be stating some few benefits of this silk soap. But uh, very importantly, this silk soap cannot whiten your skin. Put that at the back of your mind. Don't, you know, when people would say um, they'll get some certain bar soap, those bar soap are serious whitening soap. I'm so sorry. In fact, even if you should combine it with a whitening scrub, it's not going to whiten up your skin. Even if you use it directly on your skin or use it on the sponge, anyhow you want to do it, it's not going to whiten up your skin. But one thing I can assure you of is going to lighten your skin. Now, not intense lightening. But it's going to lighten up your skin if it doesn't lighten up your skin it's going to brighten up your skin now you can be rest assured of this now if we we'll dive into fragrance because some people really care about fragrance of the kind of soap they use i personally in fact all my products smell extremely nice from my soap 
down to my scrub down to my lotion even my face cream anything i'm using at all gives my body a scent so i'm out of the bedroom i'm scenting my soap or i'm out of the bathroom i'm scenting my scrub i now want to cream myself i'm creaming myself with another scent so skincare is fun actually and this soap is one of those lightning soaps that are not ash so if you're someone that is a sensitive skin person or maybe probably if you use bar soap on your body you used to itch yourself after using bar soap because they are harsh get silka it is very 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 mild take this from me if you're someone that when you use bar soap on your face it used to hurt you despite the fact that maybe you rub it on your palm before you rub it on your face it still used to hurt you sis or bro get the silka soap because it's mild on your face it's not going to cause you that um sensitivity it's not going to cause you may be itching or pain or redness whatsoever it's a very mild lightning beauty soup that smells nice now if you want to jump to the laddering of this soup it also has a rich ladder yes most of you don't understand what laddering means when you ladder a soup a bar soup or whatever type of soup that has a rich ladder you will feel it on your palm it is what it is it will be luxurious it will be smooth it will just it choke you you know you know you will know no <laughs> so now let's go and check out someone else's review on the silk castle though she spoke about the green one so i'm going to read it out to you what she said about the soup she says silka green papaya soup it's been a long time since i used this product the scent that i am in love with it's really left to your skin moisturizer wise was good so you don't need to put lotion on it <laughs> my dear put lotion no don't use this soap and say after the soap you will not use lotion okay let's go on with reading the review she said even my husband using it cause he had dry skin he needs lotion after bath but when he discovered and tried the silk papaya green soap he really loves it came out into my face first since i got an oily face into dry skin so i was surprised that my face is smoother and clearer overall i highly recommend this soap the scent was great and very affordable in the supermarket and this is like a random review online i would have just tag the person that gave this review so that i can advise i use lotion no the soap was not designed to moisturize your skin like for 12 hours straight up no it, a soap is not designed to lock in moisture for you though it contributes to that yes because if you use a moisturizing soap your skin will be moisturized yes but that is why there's a provision for lotion anyway today is not for advice let's just dive into the benefits some of the benefits that i'm going to be listing even though i've been saying it since but let me list it out you shouldn't be like i didn't tell you so the benefits one it lightens the skin brightens the skin smoothens the skin it suits the skin it nourishes the skin and it moisturizes the skin so if you know you like this video please do me a thumbs up drop a comment engage with my video without you how can i be coming here to post video all the time it's you that is encouraging me each video i drop and you give me a thumbs up thank you for that so see you in my next video guys bye for now